We're ready? I think we're ready. Grixis. It's going to be a Ponza type of night tonight. So tonight we're going to be playing two lists. This is the first of those two lists. Featuring basically Thieving Skydiver. Now what's interesting about just the whole idea, and we talked about it a little bit on the Dive Down podcast, go check that out if you haven't already, is Thieving Skydiver and Liquid Metal Coating, is this a thing that you can build around? And I made the argument that you're really trying to build around Liquid Metal Coating by playing things like, in this case, K-Command, Abrade, and Thieving Skydiver, along with things like Liquid Metal Coating and Karn from the sideboard. And I don't believe liquid metal coating is what you should be building around. With that being said, the next two lists here, this Grixis one and then later a Teamer one, they have this liquid metal coating in it, and this one's fairly well built around it, but they don't all in on liquid metal coating. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Now, we'll see. This is definitely an interesting little group here. I kind of want to cut one Jace and put in a Thieving Skydiver just to hit it a little bit more. So I'm going to make that one small adjustment, but I wanted to show it with the four Jaces and the three Skydivers. We're going to go a little further in on the potential of Thieving Skydiver here than the original list. What does this list try to do, though? It tries to blow things up, destroy things, and or steal things using liquid metal coating to make things into artifacts and then using a Braids, K-Commands, and Thieving Skydivers. Toon, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. We have Karn in here as well, and a wish board for Karn. And then aside from that, we have a pretty typical blue-black, I wouldn't say full control, but a blue-black list, which offers us Inquisitions, Thought Seizes, Fatal Pushes, some Clings, Cantrips, Planeswalkers of types, and that's really what we're gonna be trying here. Uh, will this work? I don't know. One thing that worries me a little bit, and you can decide whether you think you would agree with me or not, is it seemed a little light on lands. So our teamer one, which we'll play later, has 27 lands. Whoa. Versus the Grixis one here has 19. And I'm really worried about 19. However, before we're completely shunned away at that's not a good idea, this list did 5-0. And so that fits into Meta Monday. With no other adjustments here, let's get ready. Let's jump into our league. Let's play some magic. We have the Grixis one here, 100 play points. Let's light them on fire. Let's go. It does seem greedy, but we're going to play it because it got the 5-0. Someone did something correctly. We'll see if it works for us. I agree, Bunny, but hey, we're running it as is. It's... <laughs> we're going to be fine on lands. We'll keep this. We're going to be fine on lands. Look at this. Look at this. I have four lands. It's a joke. <laughs> Shonda Tribal had 23 lands. <laughs> Prison usually has 21 lands. This has two less than normal. This is almost like Grix's Death Shadow number of lands. Mull to four lands, straight fire. <laughs> we got a good luck, have fun from our opponents. Good, good to be in good company here. They kept seven. All right, let's see how things line up here. Bluted Delta for our opponent. Basic Swamp because they think I'm on Blood Moon and Inquisition. Oh, thought sees. Any chance she'll pop? Up on Nikachu's morning podcast, he has the very MTG dude on. You would probably have to talk to Nikachu and be like, hey, we should get this fluffy guy on. Until that happens. Nope, probably not. Also, it might be harder for me to get on live with them early on. All right, so we have a Croxa here. I think I'm going to go ahead and fetch, I probably can go ahead and get a basic island here and thought scour myself here. See what else I pick up. I end up picking up a thieving, which is cool. So the question is, do I want to get rid of the K command or land here? I probably am okay to get rid of a land. 
We have to hit four at some point. I see two fetch lands in the graveyard. Wonder if I care about losing this fatal push. I think I'm gonna go with a swamp here. It may be incorrect. What's up, Kirkinator? We're gonna try to get the thieving skydive going. They have no idea that's what we're doing yet. Blood Crypt's the next card I would like to get. I'd like to do Bloodstain Mire into Dark Slick Shores here. This is a real swamp. It's just going to be very hard for you to get. Look at that. We're just drawing lands. I thought it was really hard to draw lands. This is a real swamp from the secret lair. Good luck getting them, though. <clears throat> this is why I play these online. I think they're very beautiful. Playing them in real life is going to be difficult, though. Hmm. All right. Keep, keep stealing my stuff, opponent. They're stealing stuff from my hand. Now they know what's up. Now they know what's up. I actually like that I have four of these instead of the other way around. Oh my gosh, people. Sam Bodrizzi. Thanks for the prime and thank you for kicking off our hype train. We, we, we rarely get these. It's so exciting. All right. My main channeler here. My opponent takes a fatal push. Oh my gosh, people. Calm down. Derek, thank you for the bits. Blood Crypt. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Everyone's giving us stuff. <laughs> Look at it all. Ooh, and a braid. Okay, a braid's kind of interesting here. Um, definitely worth just knocking this off. We have one, two, three. This will be four. A fetch land's a little bit frustrating, but hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get liquid metal coating and get to steal their Croxa. You never know. You never know. Getting to kill this while they had only two cards and then their draw here feels really powerful. One, two, three, four. Hype train. Hype train. Oh my gosh, so many bits coming in. Chandra. Okay. Up goes. 13 we are at. Oh. oh, 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 oh. I see. All right. X can't be zero. Um... We're definitely going to put liquid metal coating in, put this in sideways and pass the turn. Oh my gosh. Goalie, you can't do that. We haven't, we haven't, we could lose. You can't do that. Oh my gosh, that's 10 subs. <gasps> Goalie, thank you. <laughs> Calcium, you can't put that on top. Don't do that. Oh no, it's blood, man. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die to Blood Moon while there's a huge hype train. Goalie, thank you so much. Libor and Tax is getting here. By the way, Libor and Taxes is a red white player for sure. <laughs> Corey TC, the great war the great warrior. Lamb Noons, Kev Bell, Turtle Power, Guts on Twitch, Bearded, Westminster. And the Scorpion God. I'm going to throw out the Discord thing. Be sure you join subs. Make sure you're linked up with your Twitch. Come say hi. And once again, thank you, Goalie. The little yellow box thrown on the Prime sub as well. I don't really know what to say about all this. And I hopefully got Calcium's 245 bits. 30 per island, 15 per swamp, 7 per mountain. Should I do it? <laughs> they might curl, bunny. Just be careful. I like to try to bring a little appreciation by when I can stop in. Well, thank you so much. That is very thoughtful of you. We have the liquid metal coating to steal this too. All right, Blood Moon deck here. Going to get us here in game one, it looks like. Hook them or gig them, neither. <clears throat> There's a bolt. Oh my gosh, the sounds are still going off. Kirkinator, you can't do this. Please stop, everyone. <laughs> 112 bits, thank you. Are we trying to get the level five hype train? You all need to calm down. Please don't do that. That's too much. Polluted Delta, we're about to get emblemed. We're gonna die to Chandra. This is like an acceptable loss, though. I don't wanna die to Croxa. Dying to Croxa is embarrassing. I am nervous because there's all this now pressure for me to probably win. Can I steal their emblem? That'd be great. 
<laughs> Cass Croxa does five to me, makes me pitch a card. We're done. We're, we're done. <laughs> I don't like conceding, but I don't have an out here. Even with Karn here, just don't get that. A braid could have been an out. We really, we, we honestly don't. <laughs> we don't have an out. We're going to make it work. We love you anyway. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pressure's on now to perform for the rest of the league. Scorpion got getting it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. Bunny's throwing in the sub as well. Two months. Nerd. Nerd. Don't lose anymore. <laughs> I think that hype train gets us to a level five and completes the hype train. Our first complete hype train, I think. Because I don't think it goes above five. Is that the first ever? I don't think it goes above five, right? Or do we have to complete five? It doesn't matter. This is the biggest hype train we've ever had. You all have been insane. Stop, Grayus. You can't do that. Zale, oh no. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? We lost a Blood Moon. All right, Aether Gust is broken and Ashiok needs to come in here. Um, I feel like I could trim a Jace, trim one liquid metal coating here, one bobble, maybe two bobbles. I think he, he just did it. I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. I did see you say it the other day that you're heading in the right direction for the partner. I hope you get it, man. I hope so too. Or I would love to like double down on our emotes. We have all kinds of things. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for converting to a Prime Gaming sub as well. That's awesome. It's ironic the moon beats us. Well, you came here to watch moon, right? <laughs> Opponent's red prison, obviously. <laughs> I'm, I should be focusing on what I'm sideboarding. I've been distracted. Um, I kind of want this thought seize. Uh, strip one fatal push, thought seize. I want the cling and take a thought scour out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring a bobble back in and get rid of one more thought scour since I'm keeping Luris here. I don't know. Is this right? I don't know. We're just trying thing. We're so close to level five. Here, let me add some. Uh, oh, oh, nope, those aren't bits. I can't add bits. I can't help. All right. This looks good. We're going to keep. I'm going to thought seize off of a watery grave here. And then we'll have Aether Gust. Level five or bust? We've never hit level five. We've I believe you all could do it, but we've never oh my gosh, this per opponent. They have everything against us. Um Wow. Inquisition, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize. Do I just take the channeler since I don't have a removal for it? Pop-Tarts will get me there. Oh, it's so close, Uncle DB. We ate Pop-Tarts before this stream. We should have everyone tweet at, um, oh my gosh, heebie-jeebies puts us over the top. 100%. We'd achieved everything. We're done. We did it. We've achieved everything. We're getting thought seized. <laughs> Meanwhile, getting thought seized. <laughs> Inquisition first. 105%. I'm taking a screenshot. 105. Check mark. Saving for later. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Sculling tar. Go. <laughs> we made it. What is happening? I have no idea, heebie jeebies. We got plastered with subs from all kinds of people sharing their support and love for the stream. Do I even thought scour here? This is so awkward. Sure. Let's have fun. Let's thought scour ourselves. Set ourselves up for a sweet Jace. Watch, I'm gonna land here and they'll only have Aether. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Played around the thought seas. I milled two lands too. That was a really good thought scour for where we are at. Let's make sure we get some basics here. Basics are important. Making it happen now. All right, not gonna die to Blood Moon. Heebie jeebies. Why is it saying a gifted sub again? It needs to calm down. 
All right, polluted delta here. This will give me the option of K command. All right. We need to calm down. We're flooding. We're flooding. I'm going to go ahead and K command them. Bam, bam, take that. I don't know how you are, can concentrate and deal with the chat at once. <laughs> Watch our, uh, blood moon. Watch our, a, uh, um, league tomorrow on YouTube. You'll see that I'm so much more focused. Success. We did it. What did I get? I got this. Oh my gosh. I got this frog. You see this? Hype lol. <laughs> oh no, Zale, did you miss it? Oh no. Oh no, Zale. Did Zale miss it? Oh, I feel so bad now. Tell me you got it. Playing Jace. No, Zale. We'll get you the frog someday. Um, I got it. Don't think anymore. What? Oh, what is that? Hype who? I'm distracted. You've all distracted me. We're going to have a great league today. What am I doing? Oh, I got a Karn. What does that do for me? I just go get like batter skull here. What was the total of the hype? I I don't know. I'm so bamboozled. Look at distraction. Ah. I think I just go down here with Karn. They've already used so many discard spells here. I'm gonna oh my gosh. Yo box. What are you all doing? Stop it. It was 112? 112 what? Oh, there's two. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Please let me focus. <laughs> no. 112%. Okay. 112%. Okay. Thank goodness. We don't need you all doing too many crazy things here. Croxa. No. Channeler. All right. We can handle a channeler. All right, batter skull down. We're focused now. We're basically winning. 4-4 four, four, germ. 112% on level 5. The best level. We got this frog thing. <laughs> frog. Now I want to make a frog emote. Fatal push and blood crypt. Fatal push is really good against germ. Kills germ. Goodbye, germ. We can obviously get this batter skull back down in the future. Fetching with polluted delta, one card in hand, and they are playing. This is interesting. Blood moons us. All right, it's not the worst. Could be a lot more worse here. All right, bobble played. Probably going to return this. Cling to dust. We will not use bobble immediately here. There's not really a creature. There's a there is one channeler. Four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. Poor Jeremy boy. I don't care if I see whatever it is because they're gonna just play it. Happens to be a season pyromancer. We have a thought sees coming. This is awful. Ah. <laughs> They can't bolt me here. So let's just take the check what we got here. Getting smashed in. Four, five, six, seven, go to two. I can play Batter Skull. They thought sees me. I'll put Batter Skull to hand here. Not really sure what this is doing for me though. Bobble draw, bobble draw. One, two, three, four, one, two. I can't get. I can't get a bridge. 
I block here, I gain four, I offset the two, two and the two, two and the one. So I suppose the turn is that. Oh, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna get killed. <laughs> Sorry, 2,200 bits, what? There are no specific statistics on what you need for partner, right? Twitch doesn't draw an exact line in the sand. This is correct. You need 75 average viewers, X amount of hours and X amount of streams. Oh, they just fatal push me. They just fatal push this poor germ. We're dead. All right. Now that we've gotten all of your distractions, you're, you all joined and showed so much love and appreciation, but you've caused me great distraction. You all need to calm down, sit down with your emotes, your discord access and many other things. Calm down. Okay. We're going to go to match number two. And we're going to play like the champion that we believe we are. <laughs> Got the O2 out of the way for the, the league. At least I got bested by a man slash woman of culture. Was that our opponent? I think this is the underdog of the two lists. I will put that out there. I believe this is the underdog of the two. I'm a 40 year old boom, and I just got lectured by a random internet dude online. Let's play first. We're both 0-1. It's the perfect bracket for playing some crazy brews here. All right, we have a Luris, we have Fatal Push, a Braid, and Thought Scour. <laughs> and our opponent goes, uh oh. Hello. Two. <laughs> Keep. I wish I had a ba basic mountain in hand. I'd feel really good about just nailing him with a basic mountain. We'll start with Scalding Turn, make us look like Blue Moon. Good luck, opponent. <clears throat> what a way to kick off the day. Spring leaf drum. Oh. Oh ho ho. All right. A braids looks pretty good here for sure. Sigarda's aid. Oh, we have so much removal for the. Oh, stop it. Stop. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and fatal push one of these. I need probably red and black. So let's go blood crypt here. Let's go ahead and fatal push. All right. How do we lose? <laughs> How do we lose? I'm going to play super risky here, and we're going to just plan to abrade them. <laughs> That's right. We're prepared to take on a hammer time. Stoneforge. I see. I see, yeah. oh, Stoneforge. Colossal hammer in the hand here. Giver of runes. I really could just take this one. I just have to, like, shoot this eventually. Let's just hang tight here. Go ahead. I don't think we have to interact too quickly here. They'll need, like, two colossal hammers. To really get us pure steel paladin. I don't particularly like that. Hmm. Let's thought scour ourselves here briefly. See what else we can pick up briefly. K command hits the bin here. We ended up top decking a land. Okay. I think I can still play safely here. The pure steel paladin's kind of interesting. I could shoot that. Giver Ruins is here though. We're basically gonna be shooting Colossal Hammer. Alright, we're bringing in the Colossal Hammer. They draw, it attaches, all the good stuff. Okay. Yeah. 
Giver makes all this a little bit more awkward. Okay. Let's go ahead and destroy an artifact, the Colossal Hammer. Goodbye, Hammer. We do not want you, Hammer. Go away. It'd be great to steal the hammer, but I can't really do much with it, so. All right. What's up next? Luris. Luris is most interesting. Taking a look at the sideboard for Karn here. Givers protecting pure steel paladin. I don't have anything for Lurus really to pick up at the moment. Hmm. What do we think here? Need to somehow probably get the bridge at some point. Play Bloodstained Mire Pass. 42-year-olds are boomers. Maybe they'll fizzle out here. They have lures that they can go get to get, like, the hammer. They have three mana here as well. Now, they, now they're just getting, getting to attack in here. They're violent. Okay. Definitely gonna fetch. Get a watery grave because we have the steam vents. I could shock and play Laris and have a braid open. Oh. Oh, that is an interesting little card there. End step, I could kill the Sigarda's aid. And if I end step kill the Sigarda's aid, then and, and I play like maybe I just play Laris here, leave myself open with an abrade, and use Laris to defend a little bit here. I'm not getting too much value other than it becomes a blocker. Maybe they use Giver here as well. We'll retain an abrade here to take care of an artifact that they play. This is this is close. This is getting very close. I'd like to destroy a land, but they have the spring leaf here too for Luris, so don't believe that's the right play. Cycles a silent clearing. Okay. A few artifacts in a row is gonna be a problem, equipment specifically. Marsh flats. Would definitely like to defend here. One, two, three. Wonder if they give protection to anything. Kind of want to keep Laris around. Let's see if we can. So they throw a Colossal Hammer in here. They're going to draw. Attaches it over to the Mem Knight. I can definitely kill the Colossal Hammer here. I'm waiting for them to give me back priority, and they do. Destroy the Colossal Hammer again. Now we're hoping they don't have another Colossal Hammer or something like that. We have killed two of them, so that makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> One thing I could do is Karn and protection. Karn down tick and get rid of the graveyard so Luris isn't that big of a threat. So my opponent does connect with us. Marsh Flats. Plays an Ornithopter which is in the sky. That's not good for us. Makes mana and puts Luris to hand. All right. Does Apostle's Blessing also give protection to artifacts? I don't recall. One, two, three, four, one, two. <sighs> I 
One, two, three, four, five. They can attack me for five. If I put Lurus and attack with Lurus and put this up, this goes up to six. I get rid of a land so they can't necessarily play Lurus. Well, they can off Spring Leaf Drum. Ornithopter's continued problem. Going down one here too, puts me to three, get back up to six, take one, two, three, four, five. Have Karn in play, have killed something. You can replay a Mem Knight. That's true, the Karn shuts off the drum, so that means the Lurse may not show up. I have to buy myself enough time to get the bridge down and then maybe find a way to kill Ornithopter. I'm trying to decide if attacking is a matter. Karn could make coding a 2-2, that's fair. They still get to play Lurus then. They're not probably attacking with Giver. Well, they might because I'll be empty-handed. Does this really matter? If they have something, they're going to fly over and get in. So let's play that they can just always kill me here. So I think if it's an always kill scenario, we'll play Karn. Go up after fetching for basic. I could make this a blocker, or I can make it or kill a land here. And if my opponent's going to kill me with just anything that ETBs and attaches to Ornithopter, because it doesn't even need Pure Steel Paladin, they can just attach. If I was able to get rid of Sigarda's Aid, this would be a lot better at the moment. Let's kill a land here and see what happens. And I believe I have to be blocking. Okay. Abram, what's going on? Oh, it's crazy. This, uh, I guess, the beginning of the stream here. We're trying to play as good as we can. The support from the community came in like crazy fast. And I'm like partially frazzled, partially dazzled. It's affecting our mood. We're trying to focus, play good magic. <laughs> we got slammed with bits and subs. It was awesome. It's a good it gives a good start to a Monday because Monday is it's Monday. Who likes Monday? All right, I need a way to kill this and I need to go get bridge. So I'm looking for K command, a braid fatal push on the Ornithopter, but I also know they have a giver here. So this is gonna be interesting because I almost need back to back here to kill Giver and then Ornithopter, theoretically. Ink Moth was played for my opponent. They can use this opportunity to do Luris and get the Mem Knight if they would like to. We've caused pause for our opponent. I like that. They're thinking. It means they're not slamming me with a giant hammer again. All right. Luris is played. I feel very safe with that play. Plays the Mem Knight. Perfect. Plays a new Ornithopter. Not really perfect. I don't need more flying things. Please stop. Attack. I assume this is an attack. Pure Steel Baladin, that's two. Decides not to. All right, well, I get to see what the last card is, and I'm definitely going and getting Bridge, because otherwise I lose. I wonder if there's a scenario where I just look at what's on the top here. I guess the Colossal Hammers and the Laris means I don't want to necessarily do that. Now that I think about it, Laris here with the Colossal Hammers is lethal. So I need to probably Inquisition here. Let's think this one through. 
Inquisition here, check what's going on. Down tick with Karn, and I have to go get maybe something like a Soul Guide Lantern versus the Tormod's Crypt. Soul Guide Lantern activation, because I have to do it because there's two things in here. Draw a new card and hope for like a removal spell or something, but then the giver's here. I don't care about Ink Moth, I don't think. I'm dying anyway. So this is probably not a, this is probably to shut off a land on their turn, kind of turn. I can replay that Soul Guide Lantern too and get another draw out of it. So maybe I don't even care about doing the Inquisition. Uh, hammers at instant speed with Sigarda's Aid. No, no, no. Sigarda's Aid, Luris, they just do this at instant speed and throw it on the Ornithopter. I'm dead right now on the board, even if I play Bridge. I have to find a way to get rid of the Graveyard and not take all this damage. Because <laughs> I can offset three of it. Basically, Luris for Luris here, and then I'm at six. That's one, two, three, four, five. So that sets me to five again. So I think I still have to do an Inquisition to check the hand. It should be able to take anything they have. Spring Leaf Drum, whatever. We go down for a Lantern. And utilize the Lantern with a draw here. Nope. It won't matter because I'm going to be drawing with it. Oh, wait. No, I'm sacrificing to get rid of their graveyard here. Right, right. I'm doing this. And then I'm replaying it. I'm good. I'm good here. Replay it. Um, doesn't really matter what we take. Okay. And then I want to take off one of their lands here. So I do want to probably use this right now. That's true. We could we could prevent this with the coding. Now let's take a draw. I have two cards, but I have a braids, which is what I'm most interested in. I hit a K command. I ran out of mana. I'm not worried about how much they have in terms of mana, but liquid metal coating's doing nothing else. So let's go ahead and set an upkeep stop here and shut one mana off. I take quite a bit here. But I don't think I'm dead. We'll find out. Am I? Three, four, four, five, six. Offset. I have to block Luris so I didn't get a rebuy on my Soul Guide Lantern here. We're in a good spot if they don't have the kill here. Because K Command can definitely do something, like you said, Giver of Ruins, this is protection. I guess this does it, right? This protection here. Protection from black. They swing with the team now. Oh, they swing with just this. That's right. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. It was a fatal push. All right, it was close, it was close. I feel confident we can win this one. I feel pretty confident we can win this one. I'm not even sure there's much to change. I'm going to do one Thought Seize over a Thought Scour. But I like I like what we're doing. We we gotta get the Thieving Skydiver. That's what's gotta happen. Then we steal the hammer and then we're just big. Oh, that was I didn't even see the I was so worried about all the damage, I didn't even see the Luris part there. We had one more mana, the K command gets two in response to the giver kill the Luris.
So instead of sacrificing to get rid of the yard, if we would have drawn, we would have had K command, which would have given us the kill on the on the hammer. It was close. It was close. All right, would I like to play first? Absolutely. Okay, we felt confident because we had double a braid in hand, but obviously, obviously it wasn't enough. Mm. I want to so bad. <laughs> I have two thievings. I guess I'm mulligan this. I need more lands. I can't keep a one lander here. There we go. Yeah, this is good. This is, this is, this is good. Keep, I don't even think I need the Lyris. Rather have a few extra lands here. This looks, I'm happy. Are you happy? Are you all happy? You should be. All right, what do we have here? We have an Ornithopter and we have a Bobble and we have a Pure Steel Paladin. Well, I'll take the Paladin. All right, get that out of there. Get that out of there. <laughs> Are you happy, citizen? <laughs> Springleaf Drum was the top deck. Ornithopter here. We're probably going to throw a bobble out. Okay. Cool. Nice turn. That's cool. Let's go ahead and get our Blood Crypt. I feel fairly safe here, just getting to do a liquid metal coating and passing the turn. This plus thieving skydiver is exactly what we want to do. My opponent gets double draw here. I don't feel like they could kill me, considering they had all lands and then two draws. Like Sigarda's Aid plus Colossal Hammer is only ten, and we would need they would need the Ink Moth. Well, I guess Sigarda's Aid and Colossal Hammer and booting up here, the Ink Moth could kill me. Let's not wish for things that my opponent could kill us with. <laughs> let's, let's calm down. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. Yes. Awesome. Lurus is in hand. Sweet. All right. We want to steal something? They have too many lands here. Oh, oh Fatal Push. I wonder if I just like plan to fatal push. I'm gonna a fatal push this and abrade the Luris. This does not have flash, but then I could steal their ink moth. I don't need to feed the swarm. The whole the whole idea is turning their stuff into artifacts and blowing them up. Go ahead and fatal push the ornithopter and play the watery grave shocked in past turn. <clears throat> now my opponent can obviously decide, all right, well, I'll just get ornithopter now off my Luris. That's fine with us. The idea here is that I have minimal impact of this Luris and I'm just going to abrade the Luris and then use thieving to steal probably ink moth as their last creature. You think take Ink Moth now? No, I've got the Abrade as like a check on this Ink Moth for this turn. It's just going to be Luris here, Silent Clearing. Okay, and now they'll get Ornithopter or Bobble. I think they'll pick Bobble, which is fine. Oh, a little Giver here too. All right, let's destroy, not target at artifact, destroy creature. The Giver gives them something here where the Thieving Skydiver could steal a Giver. That'd be kind of cute. Oh, what do we want to steal first? Should I steal the Giver? I have a Flying Thieving Skydiver. That blocks this very well. I sort of want to steal the Giver. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Protection. Colorless, right? 
I want to steal the Ink Moth too, but I think this is the correct one to steal first before things get really weird. Kicker's one. Gimme. <laughs> Gimme. I want that one. I want that. You can have that bobble, that's fine. Gimme. Oh. We're we're four color now. Check this out. Check it out. Alright. <laughs> we're doing things. We're not stealing lands, but we're stealing creatures. Now I need them to go all in. I block and they're like, we got this. No, 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 no. Why are you thought seizing me? Oh, that's such a good thought seize too. There's a cigar to Zade. All right. Look, I got Bobble. Well, we got to be on defense now because Ink Moth is scary with the cigar to Aid in play. Uh, I'll just uh, see what's next. God, the shrine. No attack because we need to be defensive. <clears throat> That's fine. They don't get a godless shrine. It was on top. Don't worry, opponent. We take a draw. Awkward. <laughs> Just a thought seize. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Ah. Want my thieving? <laughs> Give me it back. All right, so Colossus Hammer, they can boot up Ink Moth and attack us. I just give protection here. So they don't want to do that. They probably want to attack with both things. We'll probably Thought Seize them, though, and try to get, force them to get rid of the Colossus Hammer. All right, they gave us the turn back. We had a Bloodstain Mire, which isn't very good. Let's go ahead and... Thoughtsies. Now they'll want to play the Colossus Hammer, which will get it stuck to something, which is good for us. I can protect whatever they stick it to. Now I just need to find one of my two more of these or a Luris. Colossal Hammer shows up. Looks like they will attach to Stoneforge. Okay. A Shadow Spear here, too. Uh, that's a problem. Why didn't they go? F oh, no, they needed two mana. All right. Um, yeah, this is a problem. Lifelink and Trample. <laughs> We're dead. Oh, I can double block. Double block, top deck thieving, take the hammer. Because that would be 11 through. This has to do this. And then I'll give protection from white to the sky. Into the sky. We go to one. Oh, two. Ah, another land. All right. Opponent gets us here. We don't get to steal anything of relevance. We only got the one thing. Didn't work out for us. Maybe you try to keep this, but if we didn't have the creature out there, we're just going to lose by them attacking because this doesn't have flash. Didn't quite work out. All right, we're 0-2, getting punched around here with the underdog version of Sky Diver Thieving Panda. It's all that, you, you sucked out all of our good luck, everybody. It's all been vaporized. 0 2 0 4 we're getting our feet wet with the list. Card selection does seem like a downfall, it does. It's amazing that a list like this can 5-0. You wonder how it did it sometimes. Why steal lands when you can just moon them? Exactly. Needs more blood moon, probably. <laughs> our, our, our second list has more red in it. Not much more though. It's all right, we got this. Onward and upward, remaining positive. We got to get you guys some wins. Other one, otherwise, everyone's going to ask for a refund. <laughs> Luck or bust. <laughs> All right. Match five. Match four. Match three. Match three. 
Oh, it's been a Monday. All right, we're 0-2. My opponent's 0-1. Still in that nice loser's bracket. No lander. Let's mulligan this. All right, two lander, double bobble, Inquisition Thoughtseize. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Thoughtseize here, or Thought Scour. And let's try some bobble action here. Get some, some bobble action. It's going to be good. All right, Bob. Bob. Land. Watery Grave is going to be my first one. Let's take a peek at what they're doing, and then we'll Inquisition here, knowing one extra card. A Silent Clearing is coming up. All right, that's... Interesting. Ooh. Taxes. Skyclave and Archon here. And Athalia. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm only kind of playing one at a turn because I'm Grixis. Skyclave and Thalia are the most interesting to me. Probably okay to just take the Thalia here. Death and Taxes. It is. Death and Taxes. Will it be our death? <laughs> Swamp. Opponent picks up that Silent Clearing. Plays the Castle. Let's see what else they've got coming. A Stoneforge Mystic. That's going to be really good. We draw again and then draw for the turn. Ooh, Jace isn't bad. Okay. I can get behind Jace. And a Thought Seize. Well, we'll save the Thought Seize for whatever they get with the Stone Forge. So let's go ahead and do some fetching here. Fetch. We need to get Red Source. Red and blue looks okay. Where's my Steam Vents? There we go. And we'll play a Jace. Go ahead, opponent. They just have a Stone Forge. We could theoretically see whatever they're going to get here and attempt to thought seize my opponent. Um, looting away as well, we get to double down on this thought seize. So we can take Skyclave and Stoneforge. Field was played, Stoneforge was played. They're gonna go pick up something. Maybe it's something I wanna steal. Sword of Fire and Ice. Sword of Fire and Ice. That would be three. Currently I can kick for one. One, two, three, four, five. So this is flips. Let's go ahead and do this first. Fatal push isn't bad. Let's get rid of the thought scour. Play. Play our land. Let's go ahead and Thought sees our opponent. We know everything in hand. I think I still want to just take this sword and then take Skyclave. We can take Skyclave off the Inquisition here. This is why Jace is here. All right, my opponent has an Archon. That is that is it. Archon and some Silent Clearings. Maybe my opponent will decide Field of Ruin needs to be fired off here. I don't know. All right, attacks Jace down to one. Plays a Snow-Covered Plains, which is what they just top decked. Archon. Okay. We can shrink the Archon. Scalding Tarn comes into play tapped. Shrink this. I don't think I want to do the thieving yet. The whole idea here is to try to thieve something away. So if my opponent gets a artifact here, we're, we're getting closer. I can fetch and kill this and then start up ticking on Stoneforge as well. We're, we're in an okay spot. Attacks Jace, down to one again. This is coming together. What's up, Calico? <sighs> Silent clearing, okay. Flicker Wisp. 
Okay. We are going to flicker the stone forge. I think I can just fatal push this right now. I can kick twice. If they go get, say, another sword here, I'm like a mana away. Might be your Wi Fi. Make sure you're connected to your Wi Fi. So we can allow this to happen, right? Stoneforge Mystic does its thing. We kill Flicker Wisp, perhaps. Jace uptick on Archon, and then just the Stoneforge is there. But if they get a sword here, they get to put the sword in through Stoneforge. And attach. I think I'd much rather go ahead and just Fatal Push this now. Don't let them get another card here because I'm kind of a little bit behind. Thieving can always... I was going to say, Thieving could always block one of these, but it looks like I get to abrade one of them instead, which is pretty nice. So we'll abrade the Flicker Wisp. We'll uptick with the Jace to turn off the Archon here. We'll just pass the turn. I will go fetch real briefly here. Get like a... um get a watery grave they might try to hit the steam vents and i do have a basic mountain still so looking okay pretty sure they have one more silent clearing here as well this is a if bunny's still here i i totally understand where grixis comes up and it's a lot of fun in a lot of different lines but i feel like if you're not completely optimal in Grix grixis you don't have much forgiveness you gotta be you gotta be spot on with what you're doing. All right, we're cycling a silent clearing. We have no actions. I'll go ahead and F six. Silent clearing played. I don't know the other three cards. My opponent does find Stone Forge eventually. They get a Batter Skull. Okay. We had a Dark Slick Shores. Now I have the option to Thought Seize my opponent. We're not close to kicking and stealing Batter Skull. I could always down tick on the Abrade in the future or even the Fatal Push. Player land out. He's coming into play tapped anyway. I feel like this is just a perfect time to go ahead and thought seize. Oh, it's three. Oh, I'm thinking it's two for some reason. All right. Up here. There's nothing I can really steal with Thieving, unfortunately. And if we're only playing one a turn, it looks like I'm going to have to just go ahead and play the Thieving Sky Diver as just a blocker. I'm not going to be able to double down here. Doing this, and if they put Batter Skull in the play, I can always try to abrade it. This gives me a blocker for Jace as well if they come after it with a Stone Forge. It's funny that this Archon's giving me so much problems. <laughs> All right. What's next, opponent? Gonna cheat in the Batter Skull through Stone Forge. That'll be mainly your turn. Yes, no. Oh. 
Om. 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 What you got? What you got? Concede, <laughs> please. One, I have five mana. Flicker Wisp, flickering away thieving? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, they're flickering away thieving. Okay, we've decided to do this and attack Jace here. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Play Silent Clearing here too. Okay. Wow, now I have an abrade. Up on Archon here, plan to block Flicker Wisp and have Batterskull killed by a braid. We know it's Batterskull and one other card here. Thieving just jumps in front of Flicker Wisp here. This isn't this isn't bad. What's the creature on the left? It's an Archon of Emerium. It's basically a taxing creature. Each player only can play one spell. And non-basics come into play tapped. It's a 2-3. It's a fairly good card for taxing out your opponents. Path. Dang it. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that red source. All right. They may hold Stoneforge back here. If they do, I'm going to kill Flicker Wisp with this Abrade. Keeps Jace going right now, and I can always down tick and do something. Obviously, that's a, kind of like a sorcery speed, but I think I can beat this batter skull. That's one way to beat it. One, two, three, four. Go get bridge here. Can go get my own batter skull too. We're gonna lose Jace anyway. It's super tempting to go ahead and cash this in on the Archon by abrading it and then play Karn down tick and go get a bridge. They'll play in the batter skull and they'll have to send it all at Karn. We'll lose Karn, but then I'll have a bridge as a backup. My opponent has Skyclaves and Flicker Wisps though, so the bridge is really, really fragile. What else could I get? Could get my own batter skull. There's batter skull wars. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. All right, let's go ahead and cast the abrade from the yard here to kill the archon. This gives me the ability to play two things this turn. The other thing that's super cool about doing, say, batter skull instead is batter skull can't be skyclaved and it can't be. Flicker Wisp very well. So that might be the better play than going and getting a bridge here. All right, Karn. They'll go ahead and get their Batter Skull in the play. And I'll go, I think I go get my own Batter Skull here. I think Bridge is too fragile against them. Could be wrong though. Maybe they have a Thought Seize. I mean, if they have a Thought Seize, it doesn't matter what we grab. But I like this playing around Skyclave. All right. <clears throat> Batter Skull's in play. And? Silent Clearing Cycled. Excellent. All right. Batter Skull battles. Karn's going to die here. Field of Ruin played. <clears throat> in for four and one at me. 10 to 19. If we hit another land, a thieving can steal their batter skull. <laughs> they could pick it back up in response. All right, we do hit that land. <laughs> Draw step. Okay. We'll go get a island. My opponent's checking to see how many basics we have. It's worth a worth a shot here. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. I have another one. 
What's up? How's it going? Batter skull. Cool. All right. Living weapon. Germ versus germ. Unfortunately, I can't pick this up the same turn. They'll get better value of picking it up and replaying it with their stone forge. Was it Shadna? Shadna? Gosh, I'm trying to remember. You gave me the phonetics. We'll, we'll block, obviously. Very little reason not to block. Now, they could attach here, too. That's something they could do. All right, we had a Jace. Jace is intriguing. So I guess Jace and equip it with the Batter Skull. It's an all right turn. It's not a great turn, but it's an all right turn. Equip. It makes it bigger than their Batter Skull. <laughs> Shadna. See, there's no H. There's no H. Oh gosh, they're putting another equipment in. Oh no. Wait, why'd they do that? <gasps> did, they, did they goofed up? They didn't put Batter Skull in the hand first. Oh, they passed me. They could be so much farther ahead. No, I have to show them I have no more basics. It's Gaelic for Sydney. Oh. Oh, Sha Shana. It is an sh, though, right? A sh. There's no see. You look like sea, like like the ocean sea. I want to say like Sidna, with a silent H. It's definitely wrong though. Attacks for one here. Get in there, Stone Forge. My opponent forgot that they need to play their, their batter skull too. I'm going to return this to hand here. And shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> I got distracted by chatting about <clears throat> stuff. Yeah, that's a pun. It's okay. My opponent's thinking they're ahead. They're not. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Maul. Easy. Maul played. Attaches to this stone forge. We're going to get them so good here. We're going to get them so good. Seven. Ooh, Thought Scourer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's Thought Scourer them. I don't think I want to lose anything else. We'll just take a random draw here. Luris is not a bad draw here because now it makes it look like I wanted to commit to Luris and I have this K command. And what I can do here is I can get a bobble because I'd rather actually draw than using the Jace here. We can see what their next card is. And then I can use K command here pretty nicely because they're going to put the Batter Skull into play. And what I can do here is I can... We can make them discard their last card and destroy the batter skull. This is giving this flying though. I wonder if I'm going to be worried about flying. I don't think so. I don't think so. We can probably kill this stone forge. Killing the batter skull here feels really good and making them discard a path is really good. Yes. What are they drawing? Pfft, Archon. <laughs> Who cares? Except that I won't be able to play more than one spell a turn. Ah, uh, Jace. We're trying to get out of this punt we created. Attacks for three in the air. Keeping in mind that my Luris can attack back, potentially. Plays that Archon down. All right, Archon means I play one spell. I'm going to switch the Maul over to the Archon. No, over to the other Stoneforge. Okay. One, two. Can play a Karn here. That would be it because of Archon. Or do I want to play a Batter Skull here? I 
I probably have to play the batter skull, right? Let's think here. If I were to play, say, Jace, that doesn't really do anything. The next turn I can loot. Looting gives me the option to potentially like abrade the Archon. I'm taking five this turn. I wonder if playing Jace here is just smarter because it gives me the option to loot. And then after looting, I can probably kill Maul or something. No, boat. I don't like boat. We know about that. It's just maybe awkward that Jace would be my play for the turn. But there's so many things here that I'm kind of okay with grabbing. I think this turn is Jace. And my thought process here is I think we open the game up completely next turn. I don't have to play Batter Skull this turn, I don't think. I think this pushes us into winning the match if they don't draw anything crazy here. We're going to take what appears to be five and go to five. It's all flying. That's fine. What I'm most interested in doing is K commanding the Maul when they move it over to Stoneforge and killing the Stoneforge and attacking after using Jace. Another Archon here. That makes things really awkward. Another Flyer. They do move this over to Stoneforge, though. Oh, this is like a perfect, almost perfect draw. One, two, three, four. Okay. Use Jace. Probably getting rid of whatever I draw. Yeah, we'll get rid of what we draw. We get to a braid. Oh, wait, there's two Archons. Shoot, 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 shoot. There's two, not one. Okay, this is still okay. No, it's not. I need another, I need another red source. All right, we can uptick with Jace on one of these. Plus on Archon, play Battle Skull, a Braid on their turn. We could do that. I like that. Because we can play we can play on their turn. You're right. Two, three, four, five. Batter Skull leaving red open. Cool. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're fine here. I was thinking I was going to play two spells when I saw the Abrade. Oh gosh, they're going to kill my, my basic mountain. Don't touch this. Don't touch it. Ghost Quarter is okay to see, though. This prevents, what, next two damage? Target legendary. They don't have legendaries. Oh my gosh. My brain is exploding. This is only League One. Help. Help. <laughs> we don't have a basic, and they know this. I love to use this ability. <laughs> Hmm. 
I'm gonna use the abrade on the mall. This way the stone forge comes out of the air. I have to do it now because I'm gonna lose mana when I go to the next step. They can attack me for four here, but we have so much lifelink coming back. Our next turn we get a polluted delta, but we're getting Karn down. Woo! We got there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what just happened? All right. Collective brutalities are okay. Their creatures are pretty small. I'm going to bring a Pithy Needle in for a quick way to get rid of perhaps Stoneforge. Okay. Do we want, how do we take things out here? Cling to Dust can probably come out. That's pretty easy. Just a thought scour for collective brutality number two. Maybe I don't worry about this pithy needle. Maybe it's just too cute. You know what? It's too cute. We'll leave pithy needle. Just a few more removal spells. We're pretty okayly set up here. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do this. What happened? I don't care about vile. What happened? We joined the dark side, the non blue. Non blue. All right, this opening hands. All right, we'll keep. Get to inquisition my opponent. Get down a jace. Check the hand. How's it going, Slayerfall? All right, planes. Nothing for my opponent. Nothing, I say. All right, Bobble here. We got lots of lots of mana here. Ko, what's up? Welcome two months. C can't resist the discard spells. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? All right, let's check what they're doing here. Inquisition them. They have a Leon and Arbiter showing up. I'm glad I used the fetch. We have double Stoneforge here. This is awful. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Am I going to have to deal with this Archon again? I suppose. I'm going to take a Stoneforge here if they decide to do Leon and Arbiter instead. I get to take the second Stoneforge. We take a draw with our Bobble and pick up a Collective Brutality, which isn't bad. Which card is this card? Teo, did you see what our second league is? That's the dark side. That's the dark side. All right, Stoneforge Mystic here is played. This is a pretty obvious one because they have the Leon and Arbiter. We get another crack at the Polluted Delta. Well, hope my opponent doesn't go too crazy here. All right. Uh, this is an Inquisition on my opponent, stealing the Sword of Fire and Ice, because it's a problem for us. Past the turn, we know that they've got this Lean and Arbiter, which I assume is what is being played. I just hope they don't have a Ghost Quarter. Field, nice. Deciding Archon is the play. Okay. Let's get a... Red source again. Steam vent seems okay. Lean an arbiter and two unknowns. Or one unknown. <laughs> Not two, one. All right, we're going to play a Jace here. And I'm going to play the Dark Slick Shores. I can't fetch because Archon prevents my fetch land from coming in untapped. They are on the Stone Forward Arbiter. Combo. <clears throat> Leon and Arbiter. Phyrexian Revoker. Well, I have a way to kill that. It's very annoying, though. I'm gonna stop Jace, I presume. <laughs> Jace has been stopped. Attack with two in the air. Okay. Collective Brutality at least gets rid of that problem. Luris isn't bad. Put a tap land in here. It's kind of weird because Luris here doesn't mean I'm doing anything too scary. What if I just collected Brutality? One mode to two mode here. 
use the Jace. See what else I hit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's 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 go with the two mode here. Kill and check hand. Seeing if we have something else. I'm gonna get rid of the polluted delta. It's not very good right now. Let's get rid of the revoker here. We have a maw. Okay. Now I can activate Jace. the bobble down and uptick on arbiter and go or archon go all right so maul here can be played we have this luris we've got this weird archon interaction again preventing luris from doing bobbles let's see what they want to do here we'll see what they want to do they can only play one card too besides maul is it now we have lots of artifact removal Decides to hook it up here. It's a 2-5 versus a 1-2. Attacks Jace for 3 here. Okay. This is definitely a Luris turn. Let's go ahead and fetch first. Let's get a, another red source just for the future. So, Luris played. Snow-covered Swamp down. Uptick here on Archon. We can use Thought Scour on their turn. Maybe hit a Fatal Push. We'll see. If I whiff here, at least I get Luris to redraw with a Bobble. It's not the craziest thing we could be doing. Ghost Quarter here. I really can't Thought Scour now because of Arbiter. And I probably want to keep all my lands, because if I hit a Skydiver, we're in good shape. Wow. Rest in peace. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and Thought Scour them, then. That's their one spell for the turn, so no Leon and Arbiter scariness. Archon and a Stoneforge. Those aren't bad to see. All right. We got a Liquid Metal. I can kill Rest in Peace or Land or something like that. They attack Jace again. Jace down tick's not very good anyway, so happy to see it so far. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. They're going to get to Ghost Quarter me, but that is going to be okay here. We'll play Karn. We're going to uptick on Maw. Maul goes away. Well, it goes off to the side. And then we're going to uptick here. And this will be fine because when this becomes a non-artifact, it'll it'll go away. We can even block it if we wanted to. This is all right, though, because we're going to just protect Karn here. That was a half-decent draw. I liked it. I liked it. Like I said, they can now lean and Arbiter us and Ghost Quarter us. But I think that's a okay thing for us to be having against us, since this will now be just a artifact off to the side after this turn. <laughs> All these blue lists, they take a while to play. Sabathos, what's up? Rat jam still working. That's right. I don't give up on the rats. The pack rat is here. Blue, gross. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, what's your one spell? Two mana. Skyclave. Well, Skyclave's a cute way to get rid of the Karn. <clears throat> All right, well, that didn't work out very well. My opponent top deck's probably the one answer there. And now they can attack Jace with all kinds of stuff. Oh, they choose not to because they want to keep Maul. Okay. We hit a Swamp. Uptick on Archon here. Play the Liquid Metal Coat down. I'm gonna hold the Snow-Covered Swamp and pass turn. What's up, Last God? Am I going to stream the Rat Jam? 
Has this deck cast Uro? There's no green. Wrong list. <clears throat> All right, what's next? Oh gosh. Okay, they're just equipping Maul, which will kill Jace here. Nothing I can do. Okay, another land. I'll go ahead and attack here to gain three. See if my opponent wants to maybe double block. Our, our Luris isn't doing a whole lot. All right, we'll just pass the turn here. We don't really have any actions. I can't have six because they have Leon and Arbiter. We need to play a little quicker here. I believe we're up a game. <laughs> we're both going close to time here. Tax for four, five, six, seven. Skydiver is probably our best thing here because I can steal them all. That's fine. Thali is their choice. Ugh. Play our Polluted Delta, past turn. We'll be defensive now. Four, five, six. Seven. Offset this. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Really can't fetch, probably. Grixis is pure power, but punished. All right. I have to block this way because otherwise I'm dead. I prevent two of it, so I can fetch one thing. So I could Karn and find Karn down tick for bridge, but it won't matter because of Archon. We need like a damnation or something. Lean and Arbiter. We'll go to one. Might enter scoop phase? We're not there yet. Who knows what we could do here? We probably draw another land. Be impressive for 19 lands. Let's have eight lands. So we're gonna try to field here. I'm going to let this go because I want the max amount of mana. So what can I do here? Can I steal enough? Probably not. I could steal this, but it doesn't gain me life or do anything like that. <clears throat> I could steal like Arbiter here. I can block in the air. No, it doesn't. This uh, says if it's an uh, equipment, then it gets equipped to Thieving Skydiver. In fact, just to show, because it's fun, we'll do for three here. No, I own it then. I gain control. Watch, watch. Bam, I got it. It's mine now. I own it. They can't steal it. The Fluffy don't have an opinion about Grixis. I've got lots of opinions about Grixis. All right, opponent ghost quarters me. <clears throat> oh yeah, if I took the Skyclave, yeah. Then they just bounce them all back. I'm allowing my opponent to do all of this and then attack me. We're going to game three. All right, we got to focus here really quick. Six minutes to seven, 6.50 to seven. I don't believe I'm gonna change anything. We generally know how we need to attack my opponent. Gotta, gotta speed this one. We'll get to the question later. Let's play first. One lander, mulligan. One lander with fatal push and all that. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get out of here. 
We got this. We got this. We're gonna play fast. Check them. Inquisition them. Stoneforge showing up next. Phyrexian, Mirin, and Giver. Take Mirin because we can't kill that. Bobble draw. Okay, command. All right, we need we need lands. Land, thank you. Not a great land. Liquid metal coating past turn. Well, we kept a sketchy hand, but kind of had to. Plays a Thalia, which is a really good follow up here. Attacks does not attack with Giver, reconsiders. We miss, pass turn. Ghost quarter for our opponent. We're up on time now, but that may not matter here. Phyrexian Revoker could name Liquid Metal Coating. Hitting both of our... Hit, hitting both of our... Basic Swamps is a frustrating thing for sure. All right, end step here. We're gonna go ahead and Fatal Push the Giver. The idea is here, if I find a red source, I can K command the Stone Forge. Oh no, I can't because of Thalia. Well, we're missing lands. <clears throat> All right, opponent attacks for three here. Choosing not to because they have Stone For or Sword and Stone Forge. Looking for land. We do finally hit one. Play Jace here. Currently, my opponent's just got a Phyrexian Revoker for the Jace. Should be enough here for them. They should be able to close this one out. Sword down. I can kick once currently. And once again, if I get red here, we're looking good. Phyrexian Revoker to stop Jace. Attaches first. Four, five, six at Jace. So Jace doesn't need to be stopped here. Really, really needing running lands for a chance at this game. We could steal a land. This is true. Maybe we do that now. I could steal their Ghost Quarter or Field... I think I have to steal their Ghost Quarter so that I have the option in the future to get red for K Command here. Let's steal land. We haven't done that yet. We'll steal the Ghost Quarter. And doing it while it's tapped out is the best thing here. It's my Ghost Quarter now. Thanks. Appreciate it. Stoneforge puts a Batter Skull into play. Thieving's going to block Batter Skull if we can. They just kill us with double attacks through with Thalia, though. Like, K-Command on Batter Skull is not very good, because they have three mana open. Now they have four mana. It's kind of funny, because the first strike here is interesting, because it's going to get rid of Thieving before it does damage here. Potentially, unless they throw it all upstairs. Which I guess they should, so they get the four here. Down to six. All right, so K-Command is an out for what appears to be not really a turn. Hmm. This one didn't come together either. They should just revoke her here, naming liquid metal. They pretty much have this locked down. <sighs> Analyan Arbiter. Now I can't search with the Ghost Quarter. <laughs> All right, opponent, you got us. You got us. <clears throat> this just this just isn't working. It's not working. Fluffy chair has followed. It's hmm. an interesting follow. 
So Grixis is just reactionary, and Grixis being reactionary means that all of their creatures are getting the value, and Grixis can't keep up with that. That's why Grixis has a lot of trouble. Grixis can be fun to play. There's lots of lines there, and I actually really enjoyed match three. It just came down to can't keep up with them always getting an artifact into hand. I didn't have enough removal. I didn't have the right removal at the right times. Just just didn't just didn't come together. Also, we're we're doing this whole like no landers too many times. This is this is frustrating. Alright, we'll keep this. Really awkward not to have a red source here, so we'll go ahead and ditch the abrade. It'll probably be on top of the library. We'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and Inquisition first. See what's going on. Merfolk. Okay. Well, my opponent kept all their lands. We get a Thought Seize away the Trickster if I want to. Cavern for my opponent. And no boat? That's why it's not working? Wow, they top decked a Merfolk? Nice. Well played. Well played. All right. I'm going to Thought Seize here instead of getting down the Jace because I drew a Fatal Push. My opponent's just got a bunch of lands in hand, so that's one removal, and this is two. Waterlog Grove for my opponent. <laughs> Cycles, because they have too much stuff. Attacks for one. Down to 15. This definitely feels like a good Jace turn. So we'll play Jace pass turn. Karn and Liquid Metal Coating now in hand. It's looking pretty decent. Would love to get that working for us. This is the Jace tap. Loot. Flashback. You got it, opponent. Don't read. <laughs> Just accept. <laughs> they accept it. They accept it. All right. Another waterlogged grove. Are we cycling this again? Oh, okay, we made blue mana. Reconsidering. Cycles waterlog grove again. This is getting crazy. Land? Uh, let's loot first. If I had a land, I might just ditch the car in here. It's a K command. We can ditch that. Liquid Metal Coating, past turn. We're going to steal something. We're going to steal Merfolks as they show up. That's what we're going to do. I think they have one more Waterlog Grove. Botanical Sanctum. Aether Vial. We could steal that. <laughs> we could steal Aether Vial. Wouldn't that be funny? All right, loot again. We don't need two Karns. We can get rid of one of these Karns here. Cool. So now Watery Grave down. I'm going to. I kind of want to. I kind of want to take the Cavern. <laughs> Should I take the Aether Vial? That'd be funny. <laughs> Oh, we could just steal the Aether Vial. I could also steal their Merfolk. Do we steal the mana so that we can play Karn? I always wanted a Cavern of Souls in this list. It seemed very appropriate. Right? This always seemed very appropriate. Wow, I've got a Merfolk Cavern now. I always wanted that. Thanks. Thanks. This coming turn, I just play Karn and Liquid Metal a land away from them. I bet they play this already. I'm just not paying attention. Like, I can block this now too, right? Just block. Boom. Traded. Easiest trade of my life. Loot first. 
ditching Karn, play Karn. This is how prison happens. Blow up green source. Watch them Aether Vial something in. Negate whatever they do by making it not able to kill us. That was okay. All right. Botanical Sanctum, taking care of that. Taking care of business. Looks good to me. Good luck. <laughs> nice. This seems to be working really nicely for us. It's the full-on prison effect for our Merfolk player. They kept all lands. They were going to cantrip like crazy. That's what they kept. Ooh. Island has shown up. Can't use Aether Vial. They figured this out. Oh, bonus. Bonus liquid metal coating. Okay. We can bring in a pithy needle. Maybe collective brutalities to remove something, but probably not. I think I can just take a cling out and bring a pithy needle in. I think main board wise, we're just set up. We just need to kill, 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 and then somehow lock them down with Karn and Bridge. That's probably the best we're going to be able to do here. All right, here's another one lander. We do have double Mishra's Bobble, though. Super tempting, and I'm on the draw. Let's throw this one away, and let's try it. Keep. Botanical Sanctum, just the speaker. Top deck, fetch land, please. That'll work, too. All right. Bobble, bobble. Let's see what else they're drawing briefly. And we'll thought seize them. An Aether Vial. <laughs> too late for that. All right. We have an Echoing Truth. Mm. Mm. Okay. We have some Tricksters. Hmm. I guess I'll take a Trickster. Would Unearth be okay in this list? You have J three Jaces and two Lurises. I know we have four Skydives as well, but Skydive needs to be kicked. Otherwise, you're just unearthing a 2-1. Doesn't really benefit you. Decides to play this Aether Vial here. Attack for two as well. Take our random draw. They have another Trickster coming. So we'll have two Tricksters and an Echoing Truth we got to get through at some point. Bobble. Liquid Metal Coating plus Blood Crypt. Okay. Let's play Blood Crypt here, and I, th I think I want to just shoot this. not take any more damage here and then set ourselves up for a K command in the future. Obviously Trickster, I think it has a flash if I recall, so they won't have that maybe in necessarily. We'll see though. Cavern. Naming Merfolk. What about Liliana the Last Hope? Maybe. I mean this this list is all about the build around of liquid metal coating. Okay, we're just gonna chill here. I'm planning to get Trickster plus Aether Vial here when my opponent flashes one of these in. They played this island. So Trickster here, and we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> destroy artifact and deal two damage. Because we know it's Echoing plus Trickster here. And then the following turn, we can Thought Scours ourselves, Laris, and then Bobble. And we should be able to begin pulling away from our Merfolk player. It's only taken us till match four, but we're finally figuring out what we're supposed to be doing here. Bonus Aether Vial for my opponent. Merfolk Trickster and Echoing Truth. Let's go a-fetching. 
go get that island. Still going to play Laris and get a Bobble. And then we'll Thought Scour at some point here. It might bounce us back using Echoing Truth. It's not the worst idea to tempo us a little bit with Luris. But here comes Trickster. Okay. That's fine. Just becomes a tapped Luris. See what else they're drawing. We're going to keep track of what they're drawing here. We have a Mist Binder. I actually am not sure I want them to have this. So let's go ahead and Thought Scour that away. Fatal Push is a good one, and they get rid of the Mist Binder. Cool. We'll let them have a random draw here. Rather a random draw than something that increases Merfolks. We are watching our life total here. A Braid and a Fatal Push were, like, excellent draws. <laughs> excellent. All right, a Lord of Atlantis. They still get the increase here. Um, we tried to avoid that, but no dice. Not not a problem, though. They can't bounce this, so we're going to get a free Bobble here. Bobble, look at what they're drawing. So we can play appropriately. It's just an island. So here it's probably an easy Jace, a Braid, and Fatal Push, and then they just have the Echoing Truth here. We should be good to go. I don't see us really losing this matchup at this point. We'll attack with Luris as well. Sweet. Cool. All right, connect 11 to 17. A burger's been eaten for dinner. How's the Grixis stealing going? It's, it's, eh, could be a lot better. Could be a lot better. That being said, we know exactly what my opponent's drawing all the time, and I've got this Luris down. This is our first matchup we're really like pulling ahead of our opponents, and we got to steal a Cavern of Souls, which is cool. All right, they're going to echo probably Luris here. They decide Jace is more important, which I think is wrong. <laughs> Let's see what their next card is here. A Silvergill Adept. Okay. Play Lickle Metal. We are going to Thieving the Aether Vial here. Maybe they won't tap it in response. And if they can give that to me, thank you. I'll put Jace into play and <laughs> do it all. <laughs> nice. We'll leave our Bloodstained Mire in hand here. We know it's just a Silvergill Adept. They got to pay three or reveal a Merfolk. We got it all. Bobble Draw. Inquisition. <laughs> we can steal this now. It's happening. <laughs> we got one. Look at that. Oh, that was worth it. That was worth it. We stole the vial. We put the Jace in. We broke the streak. They should have tapped the vial. They should have. They even knew that we had the Jace in hand. They even knew. Oh, well. Oh, well. No luck for them. How was I the conductor of the train? I thought someone threw 10 subs. I have no idea how it picks that, other than maybe it picks more than one person. All right, let's go ahead and keep this. We've got three lands. We're on the play as well. We can do some Mishra's Bobble shenanigans. Let's go. Let's see if we can find that one last affinity player. Hammer is the new affinity. 
All right, Blue Delta Bobble Go opponent. We're not gonna fire this off in fear of thought sees. Also, I may just go ahead and check myself. All right, we're gonna check myself here. My opponent's just playing Titan. It's a Mishra's Bobble. It's kind of weird to take that draw. I think I'm gonna go ahead and fetch it away. We don't need an extra Mishra's Bobble. Uh, we need blue mana here and an extra black for Luris. Now I do have a braid for Amulet, which is hilarious. We just happen to be dec oh, oh. I I guess we'll we'll destroy this artifact. Shame that I got a second of braid here. This is looking good. Alright, we're gonna play Luris and start drawing like a crazy person. That braid was so nice. My opponent can't even believe it. What happened to them? <gasps> Excuse me. Huh. You wanted to play Dryad. Ha! <laughs> Too bad for you. Incoming third amulet, and I'll just concede. We're going to abrade this one as well. This is scary. Explores. Plays that land back down. Radiant Fountain, gain two. <gasps> Castle. This would have been way out of hand without the abrade. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Opponent, stop. Halt. What's happening here? One, two, three. I'm going to just die anyway. Do we abrade here or do we try to lure us? Oh. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I guess this makes sense because if we get liquid metal coating, with, then I can abrade something. So we steal the amulet now. My amulet. Thanks. Oh, I get boosted mana. Dang. Ta-da! I never thought I'd be an amulet skydiver player. <laughs> Ancient strains. Please, opponent, don't do this to me. I would love to have... I mean, it's probably just Karn next turn. Karn down tick, liquid metal coating, and get ready. Like, Luris is just... Luris is like, I'm ready, and... No. Sorry. Go take a cat nap. <laughs> you don't belong. Windswept teeth. Can't even get a tap land. One, two, three, four. We have Castle online. Scary things could happen. All right. I really do think it is Karn, though. Karn down tick and go get Liquid Metal Coating. And then, hey, having this, we're good to go. I don't attack because we've learned that Grazer has reach. When it fetches. The other thing that's super nice here is if they go ahead and play Titan... I can liquid metal coating the Titan and abrade it. Like this is this is our our backup line if this fails us, and if that fails us, Karn down to bridge, and if that fails us, we know that we can shelve this list and never play it again. <laughs> That's gutsy, opponent. You might die here. Primeval Titan. What if I play Blood Moon? What if I play Blood Moon, opponent? There's Primeval Titan. All right, backup plan initiated. Skydiver's cool. Skydiver's cool, but I, I, it's tough to make it work in modern. We're going to try one more time here, assuming time permits. What lands does my opponent want to get? They get a field and a cavern. Ugh, what I would do to be able to steal or kill two lands here. That would be fantastic. All right, so I just have to build a, be a field of the dead. Oh, now I have more green. Okay. So we're probably looking at just liquid metal coating here, uptick amulet as a blocker. Seems okay with us. 
Is there any other better lines here? It was smart of them to pick up the field. I don't think there's any like smarter lines here. We'll play our liquid metal coating down. And we will go ahead and make Primeval Titan an artifact briefly. I could, but I'm really afraid of all kinds of stuff happening to us. I could also, I guess, going now and getting a bridge is not a bad thing to be doing. And we'll fetch here steam vents and just F6 for my opponent. Oh, that's right. I get this untapped. That was great. All right. My opponent has to pay for Summoner's Pact here. We can defend Karn pretty well here with a Thieving Skydiver, which is nice. My opponent plays a Field of the Dead getting another zombie. That's about all they're going to probably be doing here. We're looking okay. If I draw another land, we've got Luris plus Bridge, which isn't bad, plus Bobble. And then we have Liquid Metal Coating plus Karn to start killing lands. If my opponent decides to play that Field of the Dead, I can definitely get rid of that. Uh, Torpor is not in this side of this uh, wish board. When it attacks, we're, we're just going to kill or trade. Totally fine. Thieving's done its job. What if what if they play field? What if they play field and now I get a skydiver and I steal field? I only have four things. We should be playing snowlands in case I ever steal field of the dead. Bobble bridge combo. <laughs> we can time these. We don't have that many lands. We'll draw five four drops. <laughs> I definitely want to just kill this field of the dead. I think is my next move here. Arbor played. Do we have another land? Oh, we had another land and we have a Misty. All right, we made some zombies. Smart moves, smart moves. We do hit that land, so I get to land. I get to Luris. I will play the Bobble, whether I use it or not. Ooh, we could cast this. I could actually steal the Thief, means the Field of the Dead. I want to do this. We're doing this. We're going to do this. This is incredible. I'm just going to do this, continuously cast with Luris, use it as a blocker, because my opponent's going to be like, oh, I'm going to attack you so we get rid of Karn. Oh my gosh, look at this. I have a Field of the Dead. <laughs> the only way you're supposed to have it is steal it from your opponent. Woo. All right. I have, what, six lands with different names? This is kind of weird because these don't ETB. Oh, I could steal the Misty and then go ETB something. We're Titan now, exactly. Attack me. Oh, they didn't. They're so scared of me replaying Skydiver. <gasps> Dryad. How do I get rid of my Skydiver so I can steal this? This is a Thought Scour. Okay. What else do I have in the sideboard? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I can just like blow up land. That's obvious. Um, hmm. Do I just go get like Damping Spear? <laughs> I kind of want to go get the, I kind of want to go get a damping sphere and that'll shut this kind of down and this kind of down and like blow up a land. Let's do that. It seems like excessively greedy and that's just what we're doing. Four. N new Karn played. Now I can kill, like, a Cavern of Souls here. Then we play Bobble. I'm going to use the Bobble to see what else is going on here. This is a Crumbling. Then I will Thought Scour myself for funsies. Jace is in the bin. 
Polluted Delta activating on Field of the Dead. And Damping Sphere. Go ahead, opponent. Oh, and I'll attack for two in the... No, I want to hold this back. Oh, look at this going. Mm. Bobble. Oh, new bobble. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't want you, Jace. I've already got one. Wow. Okay, we've answered the question on match five why Thought Scout is here and Thieving and Luris. All right. Now, before I go to sideboard here, which probably won't be much other than Ashiok, you could build something with a sack outlet, Thieving Skydiver, Scry or do something with your sack outlet, have Luris and just recur that with about three to four mana with a liquid metal coating on play. Karn's old school. 2021. Thieving Skydiver. There you go. All right, Ashiox are in. <clears throat> uh, thoughts, he's probably okay here. Whoop. Come here. What's probably not good here? Cling to Dust is all right. Just a cantrip. Uh, Fatal Push is probably a one-of that I can take out of here. And um, let's just take one more Fatal Push. I got plenty of ways to remove everything else. Let's go. All right, we brought in the Thought Seas. We've got the, ooh, we got the Ashiok. We've got the Abrade. <laughs> Keep. Also, how are we always getting about three lands? When we're playing 19 lands, we get a lot of ones or zeros and a lot of threes. Very rarely do we get two, right? Breeding pool for our opponent. <laughs> Bonus of braid. <laughs> yeah, we're playing 19. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> I would not play 19. Let's just say that. Simic growth chamber. All right, you got it, opponent. I need, uh, let's get a Steam Vents. More than likely gonna be slamming down this Jace, by the way. After fetching. Let's go get a Watery Grave now. Cool. We're planning this Ashiok. I know I have two Red Pip things. I'm not so worried of having to cast both of them at the same time. Okay, Azusa. It's pretty good. Do we have a follow up? Vesuva. Copying Simic Growth Chamber. Okay. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm, I wish I could do this Fatal Push as well. Jace activation to start things off. Um, Do I want the Bobble here? You know what? I'm going to get rid of the Fatal Push, take Bobble. I'm going to play Bobble, check them, and Ashiok here. They have a Karn. Oh, no. Karn, the great creator. Well, we're going to get rid of that. No Karn for you. Thankfully, I took the bobble. <laughs> Get out of here, Karn. By the way, one Valakut gone, too. Draw from bobble. Mountain. <laughs> Double abrades open. If they do get that amulet titan, specifically prime time, we've got the double abrade. Ah, uh, Avaris and Address. I would not play 19. We are taking the list out on its first outing, and we respect the initial 75 or 95, depending on versions, or 255. We respect that, and we play it as is. First time around to get our feet wet. All right, Azusa, what are we doing here? Did we win our 50 play points? Did we capture your heart? Quite literally. Imagine stealing a Zusa. Oh. -ho.
I'll take a Laris off the top before Karn. I mean, Karn's pretty good too. Go get Liquid Metal Cody and set up the Abrades. Oh my gosh, they had another Karn. What are you going to go get? Karn down tick. Liquid Metal Cody. Uh-huh. No, they have another land. We're done for. Extra Simic Grow Chamber to bounce a land as well. There's a lot of Simic Grow Chambers here. Force replayed. Okay. Attack Azusa here. I still like having done what I did before, so. All right, what are we doing here? Liquid Metal Coating here? That's fine. Let's go ahead and destroy their Liquid Metal Coating briefly. Hippopotamus, what's up? All right, new Bobble. Doesn't do a whole lot here. We're hoping they'll mess with this instead of going and getting something new. Player land down, we'll just pass the turn, leaving Ashiok on board here, and we'll keep Jace for a fetch, or a, a uh, loot in a bit. A loot in a bit. I'm expecting Bobble to disappear to Karn. I'm hoping they do that versus going and getting something. You want this. You need this. You gotta have this. If we go to game three, I'm gonna take some Bobbles out. What's up, relocate? How's it going? <laughs> Dropping in for Grix's things. My opponent decides finding something's better here. Walking Ballista. This can kill here. One, two, three, four, with one, one left over. Hmm. Our Ashiok's gonna die. Um, Amulet Titan cannot very often have a Karn package, yes. Very much so. I'm gonna play Walking Blister for four and triple shoot this, I think. Cool. Expected. Breeding pool played. No attack. Let's go ahead and use the Jace. Give her the bobble since Karn does the bobble things. This does activate our own Jace briefly here. What's up, Direwolf? Some new faces here. Or at least faces that don't come by too, too often. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing, Walking Ballista? What are we doing? All right, well, let me draw. Interesting. Could play Karn here. By playing Karn, they probably go after the Ashiok, which is fine. Yeah, I think Karn's gonna force the, the Ballista here. We're not gonna use the Ashiok here. I want them to use everything into the Ashiok so that Jace is pretty well protected. And I'm going to have a Karn here that I can safely go down with because I can also then Polluted Delta and Fatal Push Azusa. But what I'll probably do is uptick here because I have a Braid plus the Abrade in the yard for the Jace down tick. So we're probably just going to go up with both of them, uh, or at least up with Jace here.
And then we can go down with Karn. And go get like a liquid metal coating. Nah, because of this Karn. We, we probably just need to go get a bridge. And I'll play a Watery Grave tapped. We don't have a real reason to have anything untapped here. All right, this turn was a bit interesting. I'm expecting Primeval Titan here. They have a bunch of Simic Growth Chambers, though. Um, Feel of the Dead's not the scariest thing. A bridge is really super nice here, and our Karn is a little bit higher than their Karn, giving me two activations going down. They'll probably attack of Zusa at Karn, so we would have to go down and pick something like we could pick maybe Pipping Needle and shut their Karn off and have our own um, bridge and eventually find K Command to get rid of their Karn. We can always get rid of our own Pithy Needle to unlock our Karns in the future as well if we need to. Let's see what they play here though. Teleria West finding themselves a Summoner Pack, Summoner Pack finding themselves a Titan, Titan themselves doing the things. So this is going to easily be a Jace down tick. A braid, a braid here. Bridge. <clears throat> Can't quite do all of that, but we'll, we'll sequence in some fashion. They know I have a bridge coming, so it'll be interesting how they want to avoid. One thing we could see them, could see doing here is I could play bridge, land, down to go get Pithy Needle and shut off Karns so they don't find a way in the future to unlock my bridge and they have to find something that ETBs and kills bridge. And then if I work to a K command, kill their Karn, liquid metal coating, and then obviously we just gotta steal something. Teleria West and Selesnia Sanctuary bouncing Teleria West for a future Primeval Titan. And or a search for something else that would kill me. Tax Karn down to two. This is smart. Okay. If I do Karn down tick, Walking Ballista opens up here. So let's be mindful of that small interaction. K Command would be the best draw here. Thought Scour. So I don't feel like Bridge is very safe right now. Let's Thought Scour ourselves. There's a K Command. Okay. One, two, three, one, two. So I found the K command. The question is, what do I do about that K command? Because I'm, I'm just going to be taking a primeval titan if I'm not careful. Maybe I'm just doing a braid, a braid on the Primeval Titan. Huh. Really don't know. Am I gonna be drafting this week? No, I don't I don't draft. I really don't know what our play is here. I like this K command. I have a feeling if I just play bridge, they're gonna go get something because they got the Teleria West in hand. And then they can just get like an ETB creature.
I think I can beat a prime, uh, whatever they get here. If I just double down on the primeval titan, that makes the Karn escape me killing it with a K command. It's a shame that a K command is only three and then this is, or two and then three, because that's five on Primeval Titan. I feel like if I play this bridge, I'm losing it because of the Teleri West. We could also just play this and hope that it's engineered explosives that my opponent has. I think we'll do that and hope it's EE and they don't have an ETB creature. I guess best value here is to at least down tick with Jace and use the abrade in the yard. Or I can use the fatal push now. Let's use the fatal push on Azusa. And then we'll uptick here with Karn. All right, well, we've picked, we picked our line. Opponent's got to pay for Summoner's Pact, and then they have the Teleria West here. We have the bridge protecting us. We do know that Walking Ballista can get through here, which is fine by me for a turn. Doesn't mean I'm going to be flashing back K Command, but also the Karn is out of reach once it goes up one more time here. Yeah, like they could have an ETB creature. Sometimes they play EE because they have so many, so many, um, so many items here, <clears throat> or colors. <laughs> Opponent decides exploring first is good and worthwhile, which seems reasonable. The other thing I can do here is Karn now down tick if they don't attack Karn and go get something like Batter Skull or something. I could also get Damping Sphere, which is kind of an interesting line, shutting off some interesting colors here for them. So we'll see where this like ends us after this turn. I don't think they have enough to play like an ETB creature, so maybe all right. They have Rex, they just have Rex Sage in hand. <laughs> they don't even need the Teleria West. Well then, I don't think I can beat this now. I don't have another bridge, unfortunately. All right, so we know it's ETP creatures. That's what they have. We can't rely fully on a bridge because bridge is the... <laughs> we only have a one of bridge. It's not like we're playing prison where we're going to have like three, four, five of them. <clears throat> All right, well, we picked our line. They had the answer. I can't because my exile is a Tormod's Crypt and they've got a Karn. They're also attacking my Karn here. Primeval Titan finding Cavern of Souls plus Field of the Dead. All right. Looks like we're going to have to beat him in game three here. They do kill Karn here using Primeval Titan. They do attack me for one, which gives me the option to do something flashback with Jace, which is kind of cool. Thanks for the follow. I can flashback Jace, a braid, and a braid, the Primeval Titan. I don't think this slows anything down, though.
Uptix Karn, up to three. All right. Amulet. <laughs> Why would you play that? It's silly. All right, Bloodstain Mire here. I'm going to go ahead and go down here on the Abrade. We're just going to double Abrade Titan here. And see where that gets me. I don't expect it to get me very far, but it's... <clears throat> It'll buy me some time here. Maybe they don't have another Primeval Titan. You know, that... What's it called? That uh, Teleria West won't find one of those, right? Go ahead, opponent. Uh, yes, they could have, but they decided not to. Why? I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> it's been just sitting there. Maybe they're just keeping it there to remind me I can't use it. It's like an indicator emblem. All right, looks like we're going to be going to a game three against this opponent as well. A very long league here. There's a Delary West. We're going to get a Titan. Summoner's Pact. Summoner Pact to get Titan. So a weird and funky out here is depending on what they bounce and what they have remaining in the play, we could get them with a damping sphere if they like bounce this forest or this here. We get Karn Downs Tick and Damping Sphere, and then everything here is gonna give them colorless. So like that is a potential slip up out that we have. Maybe they get excited and go, oh. Snow-covered forest, I bounce that. I get two bounce lands, make tons of zombies here. And then they play a bounce land instead of this. And I top deck Karn, down tick and win. Like, it's a super narrow line, but I think it's worth playing towards. Oh, they have Amulet and Boris Garrison here. What is this, six? They'll double strike it too. Actually, I think they've just got me here. But it is two, two bounce lands, you know. But I think the line is worth playing towards. <clears throat> Basically, I need one more draw just to look at it. And I don't know if they have us killed here. It's a little bit tough to say. Slayer 6. They go get, what, the double strike land? Can they just get us here? What they just play? Oh, another field. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 here. They ping me with the walking ballista, so they've got it. <clears throat> cool. All right, so sideboard-wise, I really don't think there's anything. I know I have the Stamping Sphere. I'm not going to be bringing it in. Uh, I could bring in the Aether Gusts because they are green, so let's go ahead and fix that now that I'm on the draw. I guess I was on the draw both times here, right? Makes me want to get rid of the Fatal Push completely, although Fatal Push isn't bad against Walking Blista, but I have a lot of Artifact Destruction. And let's get rid of a Bobble. We talked about maybe getting rid of more Bobbles. Maybe I bring in a Narset here for one more Bobble, because I can actually activate Narset, where I can't always activate Bobble in the face of a Karn. Let's give it a shot. shot. Cool. All right, let's play first. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. It's kind of interesting, but with thieving, I can slow them down a bit. That'll be the idea here. Um, let's check us. It's more important here. <laughs> I'll take that liquid metal coating off the top. I love that card. That card's great. Castle for my opponent. We'll go get a watery grave here. We're looking real good. Oh my gosh. Is this what we're going to do to our poor little opponent over there? <laughs> it's over. Cavern. Hmm. Cavern. This looks great. This looks fantastic. We. This is what you want. Turn to liquid metal coating and just steal some things. Whoa, 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 opponent. Exploring? Give me the bounce land. Come on. Bounce land. 
Karoo land. Uh, we're getting some mana. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> gimme. Kick. Mine. Look at that ramp. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Amulet. Okay, okay. I should steal that. Snow covered forest. Okay. I get you. I get you, opponent. How how do I how do I end my opponent here? How do I just end them? Like just play Karn here. This is like a good way to end my opponent. Get them off the green. Thought scour them for funsies. Thought scour them for funsies. Oh, force! Die. Take two. I just destroy lands. I destroy lands. I steal the last land. I steal the amulet. We got it. That's how the list wants to work. Woo! 50 play points. Plain Grixis Skydiver. Maybe you just need to look for the liquid metal coating the Skydiver. Turn two, turn three. That's what you want to be doing. Worked out pretty nicely there at the end. Took us a little while to get the list running. I will say it. As I've said it before, I don't like liquid metal coating as your build around. I think it's difficult to play around. I think top decking this card is awful, but maybe there's something here. We saw the sweet interaction with Luris and Skydiver from the yard, which is pretty sweet because when you're playing Luris, you obviously have three mana. So if you just have like liquid metal coating Luris and the Skydiver in the yard, whew, you could do that. I stole a Field of the Dead and created a zombie off of it. I had a Polluted Delta that I played. That was pretty cool, too. There were cool things that happened. The League overall was a 2-3, but there was a lot of things that are really fun to play and just totally worth playing at your FNM, getting to chat with your buddy afterwards. Wasn't that sweet? Grixis. Skydiver. Land Destruction. Not Ponza steal things in modern.